part of ceviche that I learned in Peru is actually the flavor that you give this um, protein before you add the acid. Very interesting. The technique that the Peruvians do, they take, like here I'm using some shrimp, okay? They salt the heck out of it. So we're going to cure the shrimp. We're putting a good amount of salt in there. A little more, okay? Then I'm going to add a little bit of ginger, which they love using. Some celery and chilies, whatever chili you want. Here I'm using jalapenos, but it's really up to you. This goes into your fridge. I like to leave it in there while I start squeezing my lemons, my limes, my oranges, whatever it is that I use to make my ceviche with. Okay, so let's pretend that this just came out of the fridge and it's been sitting with all this flavor. So it's got the celery. By the way, celery is very important for ceviche, you might not know. They juice celery sometimes and add it to their ceviche or the little bits. Very, very important ingredient. I don't have the answer to why, but I know that it's damn good in there. And the little bits are really crispy and delicious. So after this comes out of the fridge and it already has this flavor of this ginger, if you want to add garlic, go redhead as well. You can add your freshly squeezed, please, it's the only way to make ceviche. Add a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of lemon juice. I like to mix, mix my acids. Then I add some red onion to the mix. When you get um, ceviche in Peru, it comes with this huge like mountain of onions. I think it might be a little overdone for our American palates, um, but a little bit in this mix is delicious. Again, cilantro. There's a lot of people I found that don't like cilantro, so if you don't, add mint, add basil. They're all refreshing and delicious, and they all make a really good ceviche. This has been marinating for a few hours. It's nice and cold. It's got all the acid and all the juices in there. The um, onions get nice and soft. And the best thing to do is to serve this with some little fun surprises for the mouth. And what I like to do is make some freshly popped popcorn like they do in Peru. Or my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world is um, corn nuts. Add a little bit of your juice to your ceviche because it's the best part. Or if you're having parties, this is great. Inside of a little cup with a little bit of its fresh juice inside. So you've got different sort of variations, an appetizer, a little hors d'oeuvre. Then you put your chopped up corn nut right over it because we need that texture of the crunch and it's fabulous. Then in Peru, they have the most amazing corn, which you can actually get frozen in any Peruvian store. And because you have this spicy tart ceviche with all its acid, it's a great thing to balance out with a little bit of corn.